In this video, I will show you three best currency pairs that you need to start trading. These pairs are very good. I have tested them out and I have said because someone to, uh, someone commented and said uh, to share a video on three best on the best pairs for a beginner and I thought why not do it as a video. So guys, if you're interested, continue watching. The, the first pair that I want to show you, and this is for beginners, if you are beginning forex trading, if this is your first time, uh, your first month, or you have not been long in the trading industry, just go to NSDCHF. That is the number one pair that I can recommend for beginners, and I will tell you the reason. It's because NSDCHF have a very, very clean, clean chart, and the market uh, if the market starts moving, it moves. If it ranges, ranges means if the market is in one place, we all know that we need to stay away from the market. So when the market is in one place, you stay away from it. If it starts moving or breaking in those zones, you get in. So basically, NSDCHF is good. Why? First of all, uh, the market, uh, the market can move 50 to 70 pips in a day but mostly it moves only 50 pips. So it's not volatile for a beginner. So if you're a beginner, this is a very good pair. So we are at an SDCHF. And before even I recommend this to you, I want to show you how easily you can uh, create zones on this pair. So we are on daily time frame. The first thing you need to do is to create the, the first zone up there. You have your zone there. And then you have this zone that had stayed almost two months before it was broken so it is very easy when the market breaks the zone it's very easy and then now it retested and it went down so the entries are very clean the entries are very clean and we can even use trend line to show us what kind of a what what pattern are we on and if i use uh, trend line this is what i get let me use trend line to show you exactly what we do when you are starting to analyze you can see the channel the chart is very clean and the the the, the pattern that we can see clearly is a is a bearish channel and we know in a bearish channel the market may continue to go downward to touch that zone and then it comes up touching that sell zone so below here it's our buy zone above here is our sell zone if at all the market will break, that's when we'll have a long-term buy, uh, focusing on the last zone that we created. And we know on a bearish channel, the, the market, when it breaks, it will break on the upward. So as long as you have that channel in mind, you know that if this market breaks my channel on the upside, what will happen is that this market will, will trend very, very well. So... It's good to put this in mind. Put an SDCHF as your watch list so that you can observe it. It has opportunities to come and it will be a long term trend. So, at the moment, we are on this channel. It for, for beginners is a bit hard to, to do channels, but with the help of moving average, we can put the 200 moving average and we can see our target if the market start coming up. Our target is the 20 moving average. That will be our target. Then if you put 20 EMA, we can see uh, what has happened in the market. The market has tried to break the 20 EMA and we had uh, slightly the market broke the 20 EMA. And like I told you, if you have been on this channel, I always say if 20 EMA is broken, prepare because the market will go to break 50 EMA. So because if this market closes like this, this is a daily time frame, if this bullish candle closes and maybe we have a bullish engulfing candle, we can enter that market and observe the market at the zone because we don't want the market to be like it is retesting. You observe the market here. And our target will be 50 and then 200. So that is NSDCHF. I hope, guys, you will add this in your watch list and you comment back here after you do that to tell me how you find how you found NSDCHF. So the other pair that I want to recommend for maybe advanced, someone who has been in the in, in trading for 
a couple of months is GBP card and I will show you the reason why. So on GBP card it, in a daily time frame, the thing that I love about GBP card, if it breaks a zone, it just moves. It trends very well and it can move 80 pips to 100 and something pips, almost 120, 140 pips. So if you have a small account, this market and you wait for those moves you wait for those breaks it can really grow your account this is one of the pairs that has been able to make me more than two thousand dollars a day in a day this is the pair that i was trading i'll maybe i can do that video uh this is one of the pairs that has given me much money in the market so i highly recommend it as a second best pair because not only it trends but both buyers and sellers it's like let's say uh, let me go to four hours and see what is happening you can see the market when you identify your zones we can identify uh, a zone here let's see we can identify a zone here and then we can identify a zone here so regardless if you are a buyer or you're a seller as long as you know your zone where it is the GBP card is one of the best pairs to trade as long as you know what is, what is happening in the market and it is very clearly you can see the market was ranging on the zone it has broken now it is retesting and now it wants to continue to go up if we put the 200 EMA where the zone is and 200 EMA it has tested so you have two confluences and two things that are making you know that the market has broken all I need to see is that to monitor this place for uh, I don't want to get um fake out you know the market can break like this and maybe you get a fake out because it came to retest i'll be monitoring here you can enter a buy trade at this moment after this candle closes and then you monitor your take profit will be this zone monitor now what happens if now you get a indication the market will continue up if it breaks that zone you just enter buy if it doesn't break this zone and it gives you maybe a bearish engulfing weak rejection it will probably make a double top so gbp card has very clear it has a very clear story of what the market wants and don't get caught on the wrong side of gbp card it doesn't forgive let's say here if the market breaks the 200 ema it will continue to go down sometimes uh you can see when this market broke the 200 ema it never even retested it retested after like three four days and then the market trended up so this market does not forgive if you're on the wrong side so gbp card is good for being a buyer you can be a buyer today you can be a seller at the evening you can be seller tomorrow then after two days you are but yeah like it it has equal like i can say equal pressure so you can buy close the buy trade and then enter sale so after i found gbp card is good more so if you if you know what you're doing it if it hits a zone it has to react if it hits a, a moving average it has to react if it, even it hits 20 moving average uh gbp card has to react i'm just showing you how the trade uh tr trend so if this zone is broken i'm i'm double sure the next zone that this market will approach it's this one so it really works well on zones and that's what i'm emphasizing gbp card works well on zone so if you want to go and try we have so many zones here and uh as long as as long as the market the market has hit those zones you know you are you it's the it is the alert so it will just if it breaks this zone it will go here it if it, it breaks and if it starts reacting just close that trade so gbp card is good for advance don't come here for gbp card and you have opened your account yesterday it won't be good because it's a bit volatile it can even go to 200 when there is news because we know when there is news market moves crazy and the last but not least, if you have been trading and you want to add a pair on your watch list, I would highly suggest you add GBPJPY. Why? GBPJPY is one of the profitable pairs that I have known. Yes, it has not made me much money like GBP card, but what I can tell you for sure, if we go to daily time frame, you can see GBPJPY can trend. It can trend for two good weeks. So we can see here when the market was on this zone, what happens if GBP JPY breaks 200 EMA? And that's now what guides me to know 
uh, if the market is trending. You can see it broke here. Like it was so easy to spot that long-term buy. So GBP, JPY, if it breaks, if it breaks a zone, it will trend and don't be caught on the wrong side. So if at all you want to trade GBP, JPY, trade it with daily time frame. Put your 200 DMA and observe the market, how the market is behaving. When the sellers push the market down, what is happening? It is really reacting on the 200 DMA and giving us fake breakout. Like this one was a fake breakout because there was a zone here, the market reacted and went up. Now we can see this down movement. And all I can tell you guys, you need to put a lot of uh, a lot of uh, other factors to guide you throughout. So all I can tell you guys is that we can try to analyze this uh, pair very quickly. Let's analyze GBP JPY for you guys. So for the first thing I had identified is this zone. Of course, we have that zone, and then we have the zone here above. We have that zone because that's where the market came and then it started to react. So the thing that I tell people on my mentorship program, and I say this because my mentorship program is not free, guys. I charge 400 USD. People think it's free, but it's not free. What I tell people on my mentorship program, which is paid, of course, the market was trending above and found this key zone. And this key zone, we can see if we stretch it, it will, it has been tested before. So what is happening? The market tends to leave clues on where the market can have a zone. And the last clue is this. You see this red line. If I focus on that red line, you can see that's where the market reacted. So and the market is currently on the it has moved. Uh, it has kept this zone now going to them. I don't know if you're understanding. This red line is the one that gives us the zone because why did the market just react and it was a good, good uptrend? So why did it just react? So the market is currently on that. So I'm just observing to see what will happen. You can see if the market touched on Friday, the zone, it reacted. So we want to see what will happen. So at this moment, if the market breaks this zone, automatically it will come to this zone. So guys, let's keep in... Uh, let's uh and and then we can put either 50 ma 20 ma and we can see it has already broken so what we are trying to see is that what if the market will approach this to get a double top so that the market can now drop so guys it's for you to pay attention on the zones i've given you a clue on what to look where to look gbp jpy works well with structure don't go and don't go against the structure if the structure says buy just buy and because now we can see a build up we can only go to four hour and try to see what is happening you can see the market is already above the 200 dma all we need to see is the 200 dma being tested so we need the market to either test the 200 dma to continue upward so guys those are the three pairs that i want you to start paying attention and they can make you money and if the market has not done anything don't force it don't force your trades just uh be on the daily if you see if this candle now closes like this we have momentum candle because we need to see that it has not reacted on this zone if it closes like this Tomorrow we can now start buying buying GBP JPY now targeting the next zone. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have understood the three pairs that you can start trading and make much profit. Until next time, bye bye.